Hi, it's Naki with Poly by Design, and we're here at the City Library in Salt Lake City. We're here with one of my favorite artists, Tracy Williams, who I started following on Instagram, and your piece has moved me like emotionally, and especially this piece, um, being a child of sexual abuse. This one, like, really hit home, and also my favorite favorite piece is the one that has inspired me. Tell us a little bit, tell us a little bit about yourself and then your art and how and what inspired you to do it. Yeah, sure. Um, so I guess like the inspiration behind it is I'm motivated by conversations. So conversations that I have with people, um, I'm inspired by what makes them them, what experiences they've gone through that have shaped or created their character. Um, Cause I really think there's something that you can learn from everybody and so uh, a little bit about me. I'm from the Bay. Um, I grew up in Southern California and the inspiration started there. I saw graffiti on the wall in downtown Los Angeles and I told my mom, I want to do that. <laughs> and so then my mom was like, oh no, 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 no. And, you know, but it was, uh, I just wanted to splash paint on the walls. That was the honest truth. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to get buckets of paint, just throw it on the wall. And what, bring, what brought you and your art out here to Salt Lake City? Um, so I jumped on a plane and I just moved out here. Um, yeah, didn't really know anybody out here. I didn't know the area. I didn't have a job and didn't have a car, but I figured, well, let me get out of my comfort zone. And so I got homesick a lot. And so I turned to art as a way of, uh, kind of coping with the adjustment and the changes out here and a different lifestyle too. So art to me was kind of like a, I don't know, it was a good outlet for me. And, it's, and it still is, and I noticed that as I thrived in, like as I dove into the passion for arts, like um, opportunities start to arise, and I start to challenge myself a bit more other than just painting on paper and um, doing designs on shirts. It was more like, no, actually get it in museums, get it in buildings, um, get it in public spaces where we're represented, mm -hmm. and, um, and, to, and to show our culture, to teach... Uh, teach people about our culture it's like there's more than just uh, entertainment purposes there's a there's a lot of history there's a lot of uh, value in there and you know kind of break the stereotype exactly. one of our um, poly by designs moves is to show um, the younger generation that role models come in brown which is totally what you're doing with inspiring people with your paints um, your insecurity paint that we're, we're gonna show while we're doing the um, interview but um, can you tell us a little bit about that project yes oh that was my favorite project so far um, I wanted to create an emotional project that would allow me to face a fear overcome it but also encourage other people to overcome it. So I start off with uh, something that's not really talked about in our culture. It's uh, insecurities. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like there's more laughter in that sense or brush underneath the rug, and I get it, you know? But then there's also, you know, it's still an underlying issue that's not talked about. So I figured if I use my art in a way to raise um, awareness for an issue, maybe we can get discussions going. Maybe those discussions can be you know can form in home settings and in and in normal conversations so that we can get solutions and so with that what i decided to do was i decided to focus first on my insecurities figure out what is it that's bothering me or that i don't like about myself and face it and work on it and seek professional help in those areas and act on it practice on it and once when it becomes a habit, once when I start getting better at it and I overcome it, then it's like put together a project. So I put together this project. Um, I asked 100 women, um, Polynesian women, and I asked them, hey, what's the most common insecurity that you see amongst our women in our community? And I asked women from uh, California, from Tahiti, the Cook Islands, Fiji, Vanuatu, um, even in the Micronesian Islands as well. And I asked several folks from Utah. And I had conversations with them. I sent emails and text messages and I, and I asked them. I really wanted their honest feedback, whether they saw it within themselves or amongst our women. And the feedback and the commentary was, was emotional. I found myself getting emotional because one, there were more than, there was about six pages worth of it.
but then also I saw it. I was like, I can't believe you guys see yourselves like, you know, in this way because it, it's not, you know, and, and, and I'm speaking for myself too, like as I was working on myself too. And when I saw that all the, when I saw all the women and their feedback, I compiled it so that I just chose 25, 20 top things. And as soon as I, um, as soon as it was compressed, into those 25 things um that's when i was like okay i'm gonna paint it that's where the inspiration came from and after that i was like you know what i want to paint it i figured since it's not talked about in our homes that i'm gonna wear it in our photo shoot and for the event so i created a dress uh, my cousin and I, we stayed up and we painted all the insecurities on the dress and I wore it. I wanted to show, I, I wanted to show it. I wanted the women to see that it's like, this is what we're struggling with, but it's universal. It's common, meaning because it's common, it can be overcome. The thing is we got to get a dialogue going. We got to get conversations so that we can find out what solutions because everybody's different. And so the more we talk about it, and act on it then the more that we'll find different ways to overcome it and to face it so so after that we painted the dress and uh, we wore it for the photo shoot and then on the night of the event we created a confidence dress because it's like you know the the weight of the negativity was very heavy so we were like we got to find the positive in it now and so what we did was on the night of the event we asked everybody else like so how did you overcome your insecurities and we, um, so it became a live art demonstration, you know, to get, and I wanted people to see that it's like, it can be done if we work together, if we step out of our box and ask people, you know, uh, other folks outside of our race too, and within too, to ask like, hey, what solutions? Because that's the point that I wanted to get it was to address the, the issue and I wanted to wear it, I wanted them to see it, but then to also talk about solutions. It's like, it's like, hey, let's get things going more more doing rather than talking about it. And so, did you find that women were coming to you with their problems or coming to you and just, um, cause you know when you talk about it, it's healing. Were you finding a lot of that? Yeah, so it was a really neat experience because um, a lot of these women were very comfortable with opening up. They saw that I was facing my insecurities and talking about it openly, so they felt that it was safe to open up to me, which I take it very seriously to the point where, like I said, a lot of the conversations are part of my inspiration, which then led to this piece right here. And this is actually one of my favorite um, paintings that I've ever done because a lot of the conversations um, stemmed from a place of hurt. That's where the insecurity came from. It stemmed from not feeling enough or um, not feeling pretty enough or not feeling good enough, but it stemmed from hurt. It stemmed from um, something happening and nobody backed them up or nobody believed them when they were little. And I was like, I wanna paint it. Mm -hmm. And this is what it came out to be. And so it's, uh, yeah, I got pretty emotional with it. And it's very detailed too, the painting. It's uh, oh, yeah. my cousin's hair, another one of my cousin's ear right there and then like even some of the designs one of my cousin's tribal tat designs so a lot of it has um it's very personalized so it's kind of like a, so some of the folks who do know um that you know like it's the the painting was from the conversation i had with them um they know but i yeah i i all their names are anonymous is there more um, projects that you're working on that um, more people can look for your work? I know we're going to ask everybody to follow you on, on all social media, but do you have any projects coming up, or is your art being displayed, going to be displayed somewhere soon? Yes, so what, we've got a couple of projects, um, and then this time this year what I decided to do was do something a little different. I feel like uh, with, uh, with my experience being here in Utah and just throwing myself in the arts industry, now I'm gonna just share that knowledge with other people to help them create their own events, which one of them will be on July 20th. Yeah, so July 20th at Impact Hub, and then we've got several more um, that are in motion. Yeah. Is there someone, um, as you were growing with your art, is there someone that you looked up to that was a role model for you? Um, for role model, Yes, I think I was blessed with a lot of, uh, just a lot of people, 
and what I think there's so many um, because role models it can go from music to teachers um, to my oldest sister my oldest sister is a huge role model for me but a lot of it is what I did was I saw characteristics in people that I admired growing up whether it was a teacher or a friend and I tried to imitate their habits their healthy habits and just so that I can so that one day it can be a part of me so I am actually the product of many role models trying to be I was like I don't think I can reach up to their level (laughs) (laughs) thank you for your time we're here at the city library in Salt Lake City Um, if people want to get a hold of you how can they do that Um, so through Instagram would be the best way Um, it's Trace Williams 15 Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Follow her on Instagram. This is our positive Pacific Islander role model and my favorite artist.